one of the newest DLC maps on the Sabotage DLC. And I gotta say, this map is kind of, I guess I want to say it's my second favorite. It's like second on my list. It's a weird, funny map. It's like a training map for soldiers who are new recruits or want to train in the war or something like that. That's why you'll see people turn into like, like basically just like 3D shapes when you kill them. Or you'll see cars explode and repair themselves. Because apparently none of this is real. Like any other battle on this game. Lord, this gun is low. Wow, that was a lot of people. But yeah, this map is all right. If I had to suggest anything to run, I suggest you run ARs, no type of, let me get this guy, wow. Like I said, you run ARs, no type of SMGs at all, because to be honest, it's gonna be really hard for you to get kills on a little map like this, because a lot of these maps for this DLCs are pretty much long range. And you wanna make sure that your aim is precise, because people will peg with the mess out of these cars and everything. And you gotta make sure you can get them. For me, this is the first time I ever run into vote. I never really tried. I usually run K bar and before, but I never really had any luck with both of them. But as you can see, everybody's on the map is running the AR. I hear somebody jumping. Wow. And make sure you watch out for that room. That room is a room a lot of people can't. And it's easy to flank on people. It's like so many lanes. It's not your usual Call of Duty map that has like three lanes. No, you can basically find the easy little route to flank your enemy. Like he's going up there. I don't ever respond to that. Like I said, spawns are kind of weird also. Oh Lord. I don't know how to use this gun to be honest with you. But yeah, spawns are kind of weird. You will spawn a lot of weird places. And it's kind of hard to predict or tell where the enemies respawn. So, God forbid that they make a hard point map for this game. But yeah, it's basically, get your UAV prepared because you need to know where your enemies are at. They can easily sneak behind you. And specialist wise, I can't really tell you what to run. Like, cause it's not really a room you can really clear out with the claw unless you're trying to get close range. And I have like, I have no luck at all. I mean, I guess you can run the claw or the ballista, like. What in the world? What in the world? What were they doing? Did he not see me? Aw. Really? Hop on this egg list real quick. I know he's gonna put you right here. I feel like I should put a sight on this thing. Somebody's coming to my left right there. No. But yeah, make sure you run that UAV because that thing is useful. Like. But yeah, you will never be able to predict like where the enemies are at. This is probably gonna be something dumb on my part. But if you want to suggest, like for a good flank, enemies rarely, rarely, rarely expect this place. Unless you're playing domination, they rarely go here. So you want to flank all the way in the spawn? You can. There's multiple routes. Got a warden. Wow. All right, that was easy. You know how to get like now. A bunch of those skills. But yeah, just like make sure you can figure out like where enemies are coming from. Sound whore your butt off. Cause definitely you're gonna need it. A lot that I hear a dude come to my left. I hear somebody thrusting. Not challenging that cause I know I can't win that. I'm an idiot at heart. Oh, that's awesome. He's the only person here? Anybody else? I still have bullets, like... People might be in here. 
But yeah, this map is all right. I'll probably get it like a nice eight out of 10. It's not really like a map that could really, that would be, I don't know, remarkable to me. Like I can map, I can go back to the next Call of Duty and be like, oh, do you remember Neon? Neon was that map, bro. Like that map was amazing. No, it's not, it's not really that type of map. But anyways, this has been your homie Lone Wolf, AKA The Real Suppress. And I hope you like this first map review. Make sure you guys check out the Sabotage DLC so you can see for yourself. If you like this match, you want to check it out. But yeah, that's it.